is the derivative with respect to x of the number three multiplied by 11x minus four y plus eight to the power of fifth, power, power fifth, sorry. So this one has the constant multiple. Okay, constant multiple or the coefficient. Yeah, and also the quantity to the power five. So this is the, it's called composite form, if you recall. So what do you think when you find the derivative of a composite function? The inner function, outer function. What are we going to use? We're going to use the chain rule or the general power rule, if you recall. Right? This composite function. So we're going to use... F, F, F and G, right? Sorry. Yes, the F of G uh -huh, or the quantity G to the uh, quantity G to the power N, power R, whatever notation that we use. So we're going to use the constant multiple rule. And so with d by dx of c times the function equals c times the derivative of the function. This is the constant multiple. And also the general power rule, this is gx raised to the power r is r times gx to the power r minus one times the derivative of the function g. You record this part, you find, you yes. identify the power and then you bring the power down, that's take care of the power rule and then also multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So we're gonna do a little by little, time by, uh, piece by piece. For the constant multiple, we have nothing to do with that. Three, keep it as a coefficient. And then we're gonna treat the one as a group here. Follow this rule, the general power rule, since the n or the r is five, right? And the gx, this time is not just x, can be just x and y. Gxy is 11x minus four y plus eight. And now we're gonna follow by the partial derivative of the inner function with respect to x. Keep an eye on this. This is x, this is x. Okay, so the, the partial derivative of the inner function with respect to x can be 11, and we treat this as a constant and constant, and just 11. Uh, so this one is the constant because we see the x here, the x here, right? So this is just the first round for the partial derivative with respect to x. Now we follow the rule, just this is a prep work, we just bring it into the, the part here. So three as a coefficient. The power five goes down 11x minus four y plus eight to the power four and then multiply by the partial derivative of the G 11x minus four y plus eight. And as we said on the side, as I explain real quick here, you're gonna do the derivative with respect to X. So that means the rest of them will be treated as the constant term. If they are treated as a constant, the derivative of those terms gonna be zero. So we just rewrite it all as three times five times 11 X minus four Y plus eight to the power of four and then multiply by 11. And simplify three times five times 11. You guys help me real quick. So what number would that be? That's a good one. You're just doing the inside, right? Yeah, I, I would like to get the answer of uh, the number three times five times 11. I believe it's 165. If you guys check the number for me, that would be nice. 165, yeah. Okay, yep, we got the same number. We are good then, thank you. So the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x is 165 times the quantity 11x minus 4y plus 8 to the power 4. Okay, so this is the first part of the problem. And then for the second part, just keep going. I just try to use different colors, see the difference here. So the partial f with respect to y this time we're gonna keep an eye on the variable y, the partial with respect to y of the quantity, three, three times the quantity 11x minus four y 
plus 8 to the fifth. 3 is treated as a constant again, and then find the partial derivative with respect to y of 11x minus 4y plus 8 to the fifth. Target is the variable y. So we're going to treat x and 8 as a constant. So follow the general power rule with 3 times 5 times the quantity 11x minus 4y plus 8 to the fourth, and then multiply by the partial derivative with respect to y of the inner function. Okay, and the inner function, as we look at the y, so then the, the x and the 8, as we know that we're going to treat as a constant. So those two terms will give the derivative 0. So this part will give the derivative as negative 4. Okay, and then we're going to bring everything all together. So the partial derivative of the f with respect to y equals 3 times 5 times 11x minus 4y plus 8 to the fifth, and then multiply by negative 4. Sum, I mean, not the sum, let multiply them all up. So we have 3 times 5 times negative 4. That should come out as negative 60. So this is power 4, sorry. This is power 4. So it's going to be negative 60 multiplied by the quantity 11x minus 4y plus 8 to the power 4 as the answer or as the expression for the first partial derivative with respect to y.